Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the cap command in Rhino. And if you watched the previous video, with extrude curve, you know that when you use extrude curve, there is basically um, open ends. So if we recreated in 2D a circle and a square and repeat the command extrude curve, we'll select the objects, right click and um, increase it in the Z direction. And you also know that you can, uh, without using the command, you can use the gumball and extend uh, up. So to use the command cap, you can type cap and it's going to add, uh, ask to select the objects to cap. We'll select, select one object, press enter, and you can see that the um, hollowness is now capped on either end. Um, one other thing to note with Rhino, so for example, you can see that it caps a, um, a, hor a perfectly straight horizontal surface. It can also um, cap angles as well. So in Rhino, if you wanted to individually select a line, let's say if you want um, to select this right line over here, if you were to do that without holding any buttons, you would be essentially uh, selecting the whole object. So to select a specific line in Rhino, you're going to hold Control and Shift. And on a Mac, it's going to be Function Shift. So if you're holding those two keyboard um, buttons down and you highlight the line, you can see that one line is uh, selected. And with the gumball uh, cursor, you can push this arrow up and you can see how the gray, the faint gray lines is changing the box. If I let go, um, we now have sort of a wedge shape. Um, and just like the cylinder, the square, is also uncapped so we could type in cap and we can see that now the object is capped. This goes for curve so if we were to do interpret curve or there's two other shortcuts over here there's a cascade curve and a control um, point through curve so this first one is a little bit more of a subtle one and there's if you go to this drop down menu all of these buttons and icons over here have extra um, drop down menus if you click the drop down menu this one with four curves and the arc is interpret curve as well so if we were to draw a cap or a closed surface with a curve and we were to extrude this up let's type cap uh, it even caps a curve but the object has to be enclosed or joined together for example this object would not be able to be capped because technically there is, um, let's see here, if we type in cap, we select this object, it'll say unable to cap one object, the openings do not have a closed, planar loops or edges or of edges. So um, Rhino will give you this, obviously it does not break the program, so feel free to um, play around with any sort of geometry that you would want capped, and like I said, you can have the um, gumball cursor to extrude up as well.